Hello. Hello. How's it going? Hello, man. Yes. Very good. Hey, good to see you. Please, please. Uh, yes. Thank you. Good to okay, see you. Thank you. Oh, uh, please uh, introduce yourself and your company. Yeah, absolutely. I'm Nathan Hatfield. Um, I'm from Gambling Games, and we're going to talk about The Last Kingdom today. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, introduce your new game. Please. Yeah. So this is a new game from Gambling Games. Yes. Um, it's our first IP that we've done, and it's based on the hit Netflix show, The Last Kingdom. Last Kingdom. Yeah, and uh, designed by John DeClaire. Um, it's the epic tale of Saxons versus Danes. England is born. Uh, you know, it's 800 AD, and the world is asunder. Yeah. And so, in The Last Kingdom, each player is going to take control of one of the heroes from the show. Yeah. Uh, these heroes are all going to have their own asymmetrical player powers and be very unique to the show. Uh -huh. um, and so, fans of the show will definitely notice that the characters play very similar to that. Um, but again, being a very tight design uh, game like that, mm -hmm. um, any gamer is going to be able to enjoy it. Yeah. Particularly if you like area control, combat, backstabbing yeah. and outwitting your opponents. So in The Last Kingdom, the game plays over two rounds. Um, each round is going to have a draft, and then followed by that, you'll resolve a conflict in each of the five regions across England. Once all those conflicts are resolved, you're going to draft out of the second deck, which is going to increase the challenge of the game, allow you to do more, and then once all five regions are resolved again, then the game will end. Um, in the game, the main part of this game is drafting these cards. So these cards in the game... Okay. Yeah. So in this game, you're going to be drafting various cards, and they're great moments from the show. Losses of war, strategic alliance, things of that nature. And you're going to be able to, on the board, you're going to be able to move many units across the board, um, attacking each area yeah. um, by sending your units elsewhere. So with Strategic Alliance, mm -hmm. I'd be able to take two Mercians, mm -hmm. as long as they're next to two Northumbrians, yes. and place them on the board. Oh. Yes. And actually, um, I, I failed to grab the little guys. Yeah. They're just still over there in that box. Um, but there are uh, little small, smaller miniatures that represent the armies. Yeah. So you have your heroes, mm -hmm. And then you'll have plenty of smaller miniatures that will represent the armies as you place them around the board. Um, from there, um, every, once everybody has played all of their cards out of their hand, that's when the conflicts resolve. But in this game, it's not about winning the conflict region. It's about being aligned to the right side of the conflict. So you'll be either a Danish faction or you'll be able to be the Saxon factions. Uh -huh. Yes, but throughout the course of the game, you'll be flipping from Saxon to Dane, and that's how you're going to really separate yourself from your opponents. Um, up here is this affinity tracker, and this is how many points you know you're going to score based on what color of units are in those regions. Um, you're also going to be able to have extra bonus tokens, and these extra bonus tokens you're going to be able to use to spend at the market here to gain extra actions. Um, it's a victory point-based game. Uh, victory points are, are hidden once you gain them behind your shield, so you actually don't know how many vict- Yeah, so as the game goes on, you don't know how many victory points actually have gotten by. Victory, victory, victory are very impressive. Yes, 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 yes. And then, um, you know, as you're moving these armies around, um, and I apologize, I failed to grab them from the box, <laughs> but as, as you're moving the armies around, yeah. That's where the strategic conflict comes in. Let's say that I'm uh, aligned with the Saxons, right? Yeah. I'm going to be moving my Saxon units to these different regions, uh -huh. trying to gain Saxon victories, because mm -hmm. everything has a war strength, and you'll keep uh -huh. track of the war strength in the region down here at the bottom. But maybe I don't have a lot of affinity in a certain Saxon region, yeah. or for a Saxon faction, I'm gonna, and maybe I have a lot of Danish uh, affinity, yeah. so I'm going to want to switch throughout the course of the game to make sure that I can score the maximum amount of victory points. 
then I, I'm not a second or a then, but just switching them. Cor cor <laughs> correct, right. You, yeah. you, uh, the game is all about for yourself. Uh -huh. you're, you know, you're trying to create alliances. Uh, you're talking to people. So I'm like, all right, yeah. both me and you are aligned to the Saxons, right? The Danes have a hold up here in North Umbria. Mm -hmm. Let's work together okay. to go take them out. Uh -huh. But the whole time, me and the player at the other table, we got something going on. Uh -huh. And so I've convinced you to come attack with me as a Dane. Uh -huh. And at the last second, I'm going to switch to a Saxon, <laughs> yeah. betray you, wow. and help the other player. Oh. Yes. So it's all about that betrayal element. Um, it's a really, um, it's a pretty fast-paced game. Yeah. Um, in the game, too, what's nice is you don't have to play a card if you don't want to because uh -huh. you're going to have a limited amount that you can play through the course of the round. So you only get five cards at the beginning, but you have five regions to contend with. Mm -hmm. And you're going to want to play multiple cards, but in this instance, maybe I don't play a card and I can pass. Uh -huh. The other player can pass, the other player can pass, and then you pass. Mm -hmm. If everybody passes, that's when a conflict is over and the region is at peace. Uh, and yes, but if somebody doesn't pass, then the conflict continues. Okay. And so conflicts can last one, one go around the table yeah. or many based on, you know, how many characters are going to be in that region and how much attacking can be possible. Okay, switching side is very impressive. Yeah, that's, the mo that's really the crux of the game and the most important part of the game. Yeah. And every character, you know, specific to who they are. Uh -huh. You know, so we have Brita, we have Ragnar the Younger, you know, every character from the game. Yeah. But the character cards themselves, not from the deck you draft, but the cards you get because you are that character, you're going to need to use those to switch sides. Uh -huh. So you're only ever able to switch sides yeah. once in a round. Uh, once in a round. However... That's where these action tokens really come into place because you're going to spend these. Again, you have them hidden secretly. You're going to spend these to take these market actions. And notice one of those is to see is to be wise. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to then also let you switch the alliances. And so switching is very hard and uncommon, mm -hmm. but doing it at the exact right time is going to be the difference in yeah. the game. Mm -hmm. Because many times players are going to have the same mm -hmm. affinity multiplier. Yeah. So if we're both Danes, mm -hmm. we both have the same affinity multiplier. Yeah. Every time the Danes win a battle and we score, mm -hmm. we're scoring the same points. Mm -hmm. So we're actually not separating ourselves. So I need to find that moment in the game where I can switch mm -hmm. from Dane to Saxon yeah. to pull ahead based on this affinity uh -huh. tracker. And the affinity tracker also uh, comes from playing cards and also using the market at the top. Yeah. Then when, when the game ends? Uh, so the game will end after the second round. Second round? Yep, so there'll be one round, five conflicts, yeah. and then a second round and five more oh. conflicts. And then, then the game will end. You'll count up your victory point. Yeah. Whoever has the most wins. Mm -hmm. But the hidden victory points is really nice yeah. because you always are in the game, right? You, you, know, you never know exactly how much everybody else has, so you always feel you have a chance. And so it's really nice that way. Okay. Then how can we buy, buy this game? Yeah, so Last Kingdom is available right now. Um, we released it uh, just very recently. Of course, if you're at Spill, mm -hmm. come by our booth and say hey. Uh, but the game um, is in full distribution. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's available globally. Um, it is in only English, but available globally. Uh, you can purchase it direct from GamblingGames.com or your favorite hobby store. Uh -huh. okay. Uh, I, I know your games are very small, uh, like Epic series, yeah. very small, and there are many components, and, and um, very uh, gamers game. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, Gamelin, we're normally known yeah. for the tiny Epic series. Yeah. Um, however, we are very big fans of The Last Kingdom. Yeah. We had the opportunity to get the license, oh. uh, work with a designer like John DeClaire yeah. to build this beautiful game and bring it to the market. And so we felt we needed to do that. Yeah. Of course, Tiny Epic is something we're still hyper-focused on. And, <laughs> and, you know, we'll be releasing something to Kickstarter, actually, with Tiny Epic, yeah. a new one, very, very soon. Yeah. And then, uh, I think uh, this, uh, this uh, mechanic is very matched with the, the team, theme. Yes. Kingdom. Yeah. Generally, and again, we took the rule set, or we took the show and built it from the ground up. And so it's rich in theme. What you're doing in the game by, by sending your Saxons 
uh, you know, to fight the Danes, by powering up the Danes, by exploiting your enemy's weakness and flipping at the, at the right time yeah. is exactly what the show is all about. You know, the books in the show is all about that internal struggle of, I want it for myself. <laughs> and so if I have to be a Dane, then so be it. Yeah. If I have to be a Saxon, so be it. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, very good. Thank you for introducing yourself. To of course, game. of course. I really appreciate you guys having me on and giving me the experience. Um, I really love your channel and your stream, and so I think you guys do a great job, and I was really happy to be on. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Bye-bye.